Hello, hello, friends. It's Janie Backer with Inspired Stamping, and welcome back to our Tuesday Chat and Stamp. I am so glad you're here joining me. Um, I should turn my nails around. Look at that cute Christmas tree. I've never had Christmas nails before. This is a whole different stage of life, I guess. It's kind of fun getting the little laptop started up here. It's looking, looking. Where is the video? There it is. Okay. Oh my, I, I do not like having a crooked screen for you all. There we go. Isn't this Christmas grid paper so cute? Maybe I'll pull it down here. There we go. So this um, section is centimeters, and then this section down here is inches. And beautiful Christmas colors and trees. I hope you are all well and excited to stamp with you today. Can you please leave a comment that you're here? Just need to grab a few supplies. Okay, so I'm going to stamp with a few things that are going to be in our celebration. And I'm going to make a few cup of cards today. And get my ink pads out. I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. I was working on the school fundraiser and the last 10 minutes just vanished before my eyes. So, oh boy. It does that sometimes, doesn't it? Okay, so, wait a minute. How did I get this stamp set? Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I thought I grabbed the daffodil stamp set for last night, but apparently I grabbed the amaryllis stamp set. And nobody corrected me that I was using the wrong flower. Let me find my card. Well, I'm not sure where that card went. I put things in safe places and can't find them, and that is showing up to be dangerous. Because I cannot find my Amaryllis card. Okay, but I have my Amaryllis envelope. Fun days. Um, anyway, we stamped and um, created. Well, hi, Miss Sherry. Welcome. With Celebration Designer Series papers. So you can see a peek of them here. I'm not allowed to show you inside the brochure. So you just have to look at the front cover here at these beautiful de designer series papers. So we have marvelous which is marbled effects and then the daffodils and rainbows and over here is florals and i pulled out coordinating stomp stamp sets so i used the otters with the marble paper get back on the camera here and Rainbow of Happiness, of course, with the Rainbow Designer Series paper. And the Friendly Hello with the Designer Series paper that coordinates with it. This um, stamp set and Designer Series paper are a combo gift that you can get for free with a $100 order. So, last night was our Christmas party for my demonstrator monthly meeting 
and we made these cute cards and I got this idea from my friend, friend Anne Marie Hill of using the technique to stack, cut, and shuffle card pieces. And I used this for the concept for our meeting. Um, my card sadly got a little bit of wear and tear at, as display pieces. So let me grab the DSP and show it to you. Okay, come on. My dog's getting in the way here. She's trying to help me, but not. Well, how sad, my card is missing. Okay, so with this <laughs> stack, cut, and shuffle, you um, take four sheets of designer series paper. So we'll use these, the small rainbows, and the polka dots. And you go ahead and cut them to be card layer size and make sure that they are facing the direction that you want your card face. So for me, I want it to be four inches wide. And I hold this firmly so that none of the layers slide. And I do slide it front and back to chop off that section. And then at five and a quarter inches. Same thing, slide forward and back. And I learned this technique from one of, a fellow demonstrator, Rick Adkins. Okay, so now we're going to cut this stack. This is our stack. This is a card layer for the card front, so we're going to cut it at two and three quarters inches. So you can do whatever measurements you want. You can change this up to anything. It will work with various measurements. Some people have done diagonals, which are super clever. Clever. Um, so, there we go. Okay, so those are left and right pieces. So now we're going to cut this at three inches. So you can see that. And I'm going to cut this one at two inches. And that makes them be different um, rectangle shape sizes. Okay, so now comes the shuffle part. So collect your pieces. And we're going to shuffle. So we're going to start with the largest size. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. And shuffle out. It's like four players at a card game. Then the next size. Only you give this person a different print. And you work all the way around and then start when we're over. I obviously flipped this upside down, there we go. And the last shuffle, the smallest piece. Oh, that already has, let's see, polka dots go there. Stripes and there we go. So that is our shuffle and I am not sure. I used white card bases for this one because I had more background color. These have more whites, so I don't really want to use a white card base. I am going to opt to use 
the Bell Papaya. I believe that coordinates. Yes, it does. So let's chop this as our card base. So first I score it four and a quarter. That's right down the center of your sheet of cardstock. Flip it to five and a half. And now you have two card bases from your sheet of cardstock. And grab my trusty phone folder. I'm going to move my stack so they don't get mixed up off to different sections here. So we have big news at Stampin' Up! Wednesday is free shipping day on orders of $50 or more. Stampin' Up! is covering shipping for all orders. So that is a sweet Christmas gift to start our week. Okay, so you can always lay out your pieces before you start so that you make sure that you get them going the right direction and not one this way. You want to make sure that you get your... There'll be an eighth of an inch margin all the way around. Okay, so it'll look like that when I'm all done. Thank you for saying hello. I'm so grateful when you comment and click on the heart icon for the little like button. And if you're new to my page, then I'm really grateful if you'll take a minute and click like on my page so that You'll see my posts and know when I come back live. So this beautiful rainbow paper, um, oops, will be available in January. And it is called Sunshine and Rainbows and it will be free with a $50 order for celebration, which is January and February of 2022. Okay, so that looks like a good even margin. But free shipping is this Wednesday on all of our current products. So that is the annual catalog, the August, December mini catalog, with all the holiday products and the clearance rack qualifies as well. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and grab another one. Since I've already cut them, let's go ahead and use the pieces. So, I like to alternate my little rainbows. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Do you like to start with the left side and align the other pieces or do you like to start with the right side? I'm sure everybody has their preference with which way they like to glue their pieces on. I always like to start with this top corner and then work my way down, and then work my way over. There isn't a right or wrong. I wonder if left-handed and right-handed people have similar preferences, or if that's even relevant. Oops, see I tried to put it on sideways. There we go. Oh, fun. So we had our 
card swap last night and got all sorts of beautiful cards. Um, I will share those later this week. I'm going to be live a few times this week because um, I have so much to share. I have those to share. Um, oh, there's my piece. And then um, soon I will be also going through the mini catalog and marking my pages. So if you want to join me for that, that'll probably be later this afternoon. We'll go through the catalog page by page and mark all of the retired and re carryover items. Sherry, it's going slow. We're at the stage of um, wiring, and I don't know how to wire the electrical. So I'm kind of waiting on my husband. He wants to teach me how to do it. Um, I'd like him to just go do it. <laughs> he has plenty of his own projects, and he has an injured shoulder that he needs to have surgery for. So I'm very sad that we've kind of just been sitting in a waiting phase. So let me grab, oops, our stamps are here. And I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. It is good that he can do it. He, I have the most talented, skilled, um, teaching himself to do anything type of guy. He's extremely independent, self-reliant. And he, we did get it moved. I need to post the video of him moving it um, because it was it's on the side of our house by all of our utility hookups. And so the door opened right next to our air conditioner, which was awkward and would be super noisy during summer. So anyway, uh, we moved it and that was a funny little adventure. Um, but anyway, it's now moved. I added the cute little hearts. Um, and this is the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set that will be in the new mini catalog. Oh, are you loving your studio space? I'm excited and will be so happy when I can move in there. Okay, so I'm using the rectangle postage stamp punch and I need to give myself a little more margin to get my punch in there. I can't wait till it's done either. It'll be so nice to be out of the middle of the house. Okay, so I add a little hearts to fill in that white space. Punch. And I think it needs an extra layer behind it because that's just how Jeannie ba Backer does it. So we're going to cut one of these. It is uh, a lot of work. We were flying along for a while and I thought, this is gonna be done in two weeks. This is so easy peasy. Um, and then we came to a screeching halt with the electrical, so it's a little process, um, but I have pur we purchased um, the next steps. I have all the beadboard and the ceiling boards. Um, so this is the tear and tape that I'm applying to the back of my sentiment. Um, so as soon as we get the electrical done, um, then we're ready to put all of those boards on, which, you know, seems like it should go fast, but those are the things you don't know until you start. Okay, so when you layer these, you do want to make sure your little tabs line up so that they're not poking out of the wrong places. You can see that. I sometimes use my adhesive to help me pick things up because... 
having pretty nails that are not very functional. Okay, so that little addition of color on either side helps it pop more. And then we have this beautiful Baker Twain combo from the annual catalog. I can't remember what this set is called. It comes in a combo. It's flowers for every season rimbo, ribbon combo pack. I'm just going to put a piece of adhesive down there on the back again. Use my scissors to get under the backing. And whoop, pull it off. Okay, so I like to do a figure eight of swirl shapes. I think I'll do three layers. Um... I will say, Sherry, that you and Lissa's Wallenek have definitely inspired me. Those are not my ribbon scissors, they're my paper scissors, and they are dull. Okay, so we're just gonna arrange the swirls with the adhesive holding it in place. So your studios have definitely um, inspired me and I should go check to see if you have any pictures on how you've decorated oh boy so you use the adhesive back there not glue because then you can shift it around and make it um, move to your preference and then of course you grab your dimensionals to adhere this on the front of your card. But see, that piece of tear and tape that I put on the back is strictly functioning as a baker's twine positioning tool. <laughs> it's not for adhesive to the card front. It is to make the twine behave. Otherwise, your twine and ribbons will not behave and will not stay where you put them. They do have minds of their own and they flip and flop and twist. And just when you're trying to hold it all together just with your fingers on there, it'll slip right out of place. Okay, and I like them to be a little, yeah, wide. That's the word I'm trying to think of, wide wide loops so then you can choose where you want to put it I like to kind of bridge over the different layers like that and there we go card number one is done a little something to brighten your day isn't that cute I love the font I love the sentiment Super cute and fun. So I hope that you will also try this stack, cut, and shuffle concept of using your DSP with four prints at a time on a card front. Um, this is the one that I made with the otter. It has a water ripply effect, so that's kind of fun. And then this is the Daisy Designer Series paper. And um, somehow I ended up with the host set in the box, and that's what I used. So it says happiest of days to you. This Amaryllis Bloom is a f option with a $150 order. It is a host stamp set in the annual catalog and you can only purchase it with your host stamp and rewards. So it's exclusive and pretty cool treat when you are ordering $150 or more or 
hostess of a large group group order. So you can see all the different colors. Um, pear pizzazz is the is the predominant green color, so that's what I used for my card base, my ink, and my label background. And then we also used the beautiful lace. Looks like it's okay. I thought it was loose. See yeah, that one? That side is loose. It's supposed to crisscross like that. Might have to tuck a little glue dot under there. So those are the cards that we made. Um, plus, we, oh, here it is. Silly me, I had it the whole time. Here's the fourth card, and boy, I'll tell you what. Um, doesn't matter if your class is with customers or with other demonstrators. If my samples aren't in a clear envelope, they get damaged one way or another. Those uh, ink pads jump out and attack the samples. So this poor guy looks like he took two jumps into the <laughs> pill papaya and one into pear pizzazz. Pretty crazy. Um, we also decorated our envelopes, and so this envelope got the splatter, which is um, on that stamp set. If you didn't, it's easy to miss that there's a cute little splatter for the backgrounds right there for friendly hello. So that was cute. And then um, this envelope got an amaryllis on it. Um, now that I've slowed down and looked at that this is not a daffodil, it's an amaryllis. Should have been a different color, but these days. Uh, rainbow of happiness and the rainbow and sun happiness, rainbow, sunshine and rainbows designer series paper. So fun and cute. And we did, um, hmm, I thought I had another envelope stamped, but maybe not. And then awesome otters. So cute. And we did use the gray granite blends to color our otter and just stamped with uh, memento ink. And I don't know, it's got squigglies on it now. These pearls are the metallic pearls in our annual catalog. They come in gold and silver in, a, in the one pack. And I've used lots and lots of the gold ones and I had tons of silver pearls left. And I've been thinking I need to figure out how and when to use those. And it coordinated great with our otter to have some pearls. So that is our stamping session for today. Um, in a few minutes, I will post in the um, description this month's post code for ordering and a reminder that free shipping is tomorrow. If you use my host code for shipping, then I will um, send you the ideas tutorial bundle as my thank you for your loyalty to shop with me and Stampin' Up's going to give you free shipping so it's a great day to get a few of those extra items that are retiring and on discount let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to chatting with you again next Tuesday at noon for Stampin' Chat with Janie. Bye-bye, everybody.